Alright, so don't judge me off this one gameplay. This is my very first time ever playing Halo. It's actually my very first Halo. Um, I think the score in this game was like 16-2. and two. And I got this, uh, I just got this game on yesterday, well last night. And uh, this is the first gameplay I got. So I'm learning all the controls, learning, uh, I, I didn't realize that headshots were such a big thing in Halo. And I'm just learning everything for the first time, a complete Halo noob. I've never... I've never watched a Halo video in my life. Just brand new coming into the game. Uh, I have no clue what's going on. Don't even know what I'm doing. So you're probably going to see me doing some stupid things in this game. But please just be patient while I get, you know, somewhat better at this game. Or at least learn it. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm, this is a Team Slayer game. Which is pretty much just like uh, Team Deathmatch to Call of Duty. I apologize to people if uh, I'm comparing it a lot to Call of Duty as well, but that's the only other game that I've ever played. It's a first person shooter. So uh, yeah, um, this game is not like Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know, it's a lot different for sure. It's got a huge feeling uh, change from it and I wasn't quite sure going into this. Uh, a lot of my school friends were getting it so I decided to get Halo. Um, I heard it's a really try-hard game, but I don't care about my stats in it. Uh, I just mess around. I play solo most of the time, and I just, you know, I'm just getting used to the game um, for sure. Overall, I'd say this game is fun. Is it, it is a fun fucking game, man. I gotta say, uh, definitely worth the money. Um, I always thought Halo is kind of some kind of like gay game, you know, like who wants to play a game about like aliens and like shit like that. I don't know. I just didn't se seem to take an interest in it, but after actually giving it a chance and playing it for a while, I must say that this is actually uh, a pretty good game. And uh, you can see me just kind of running around the map here and not really knowing what I'm doing. Um, I, it's just I don't know what I was doing. Uh, I actually managed to like turn on this kid who's shooting me in the back. I think I kill him. Don't? Yeah, I do. I kill him with the grenade. And uh, I don't know. I'm starting to learn it a bit more now since uh, th this is the next day. This game plays a bit older, but. Um, well, not older. I got it last night, but uh, from what I've played so far today, this afternoon, um, I'm starting to get a little bit better at the game. Definitely not a pro. Um, something I am quite happy about is the fact that I have a positive KD. Even though I don't really worry about my stats too much, like I said, um, I just ha this is my very first time ever playing the game, and I do have a positive KD. Uh, I'd say about 90% of the people that are new to a game that they've never played before, uh, if it's a first-person shooter and stats are in the game most often have negative KDs so mine's just sitting around at like a 1 which I'm completely fine about plus from what I've been told Halo KDs are often lower than what they are in Call of Duty because uh, Halo is more of a team based game and it's more about the win which that's all I go for even though I do lose a lot of the time just because uh, I'm playing solo and you know, like I get paired up against like full parties and stuff but you know it's just a fun game um, I'm not too worried about that for the most part and something I never thought I'd say was that I plan on posting Halo videos on my channel a bit more often. Um, well, I guess uh, more than I ever have because I never have uploaded a Halo video before. So um, I will be uploading that uh, uh, Halo 4 gameplay. I'm not sure. I'm not, probably not going to get into it too much just because I plan on going really hard in Black Ops 2. Um, going to the midnight release in a couple, I think it's two days now, like a day, two days. Um, so I'm super excited for Black Ops 2, I already know a lot of commentators have it, I've seen a couple live streams on it, the game looks great, Halo 4 uh, is great, um, it's gaming season has pretty much arrived, uh, you know, I kind of wish I got this game, uh, Halo, on the release date, just because uh, I don't have much time to play it before the, um, what is it called, sorry, before Black Ops 2 comes out, sorry, I completely forgot my train of thought there. I kind of wish I got this game right on Tuesday when this game was released this past Tuesday just because uh, I only have a couple days to play it and Black Ops 2 comes out. And it's not like I'm not going to play this game anymore, I'm just not going to play it uh, near as much as I have been uh, since I've gotten it. And I'll probably be playing Black Ops 2 like 90% of the time and if I can fit in Halo 4 uh, here and there I'll probably play it. I definitely don't want to give up on this game. I don't want to just buy it and play it for a couple days. I plan on playing this game in the future for sure. And right here, uh, I thought it was so cool. I was learning how to do the, um, <clears throat> you use, I think it's called like an armor ability where uh, y you can see through people through the walls. I'm not sure what it's called. It's something vision. Uh, it starts with a P. 
But uh, you can, it's kind of like a thermal vision or like heat seeking vision. You can see people through walls and stuff like that. And uh, this is the very first time I ever found it out. I just unlocked it in this game, I think. And I was like, wow, this is actually pretty goddamn sick, if you ask me. Um, so, finding all these new things about Halo and learning all these new stuff, um, I'd, I'd say it's a pretty great game. Um, something I w did have to say about it was the campaign. Since I've never played Halo 4 or Halo before in general, I've never played a Halo campaign before. Um, I kind of lost in the campaign. I'm not sure if anyone can link me to like a video that explains what's happened in all the other campaigns because it's not like I'm gonna go back and play them. But <clears throat> I just don't quite understand what's going on in the campaign because you know I've missed how many Halos have I missed? I've missed Halo 1, 2, 3, Halo Reach. Uh, I don't. Th I'm not sure if ODST had a campaign. I'm not even sure if that was a game. I might have just been an add-on. I'm not sure. Uh, and I'm joining in at the campaign at Halo 4, so I feel like I'm at a place for sure. Um, something else I realized is I didn't realize so many people on my friends list was going to be getting Halo 4, which is pretty exciting. Uh, I kind of wish, um, since this game is, uh, I've had a couple friends tell me that you know I should only play this game in full parties and. Uh, I should just actually care about you know winning and stuff like that, which really I don't. Um, they told me I should, but you know it's whatever. I'm not too worried about that for sure. Um, <clears throat> I'm like level 20 already, and I just got this game. Like uh, it's it's the next afternoon, so I played it all last night, and I played it a bit today. I've got like six hours played in like the past like 10 hours so uh, that I've had a game. So I went hard on it the first night I got it, just because it was so fun. And this game is just like Call of Duty for me. It's addicting as hell, man. This game is crazy addicting. And uh, you can f see I finally died on my streak. I'm not sure how high of a streak I was on. But <clears throat> I'm definitely having a hard time keeping uh, streaks. Um, I'm often getting one kill and dying. Or getting one kill, dying twice. And they're just getting two, or getting two kills and then, you know, dying. I can't seem to build a streak. I'm not sure if that's how Halo is. You know, you don't go on huge streaks like I do in Call of Duty. I'm not expecting to get like you know a 25 streak like a Moab or something like that like it's Call of Duty but like I'm expecting to do a bit better um, I think it's just because uh, <clears throat> most of these people I'm playing against are Halo veterans they've been playing for so many Halos in the past and I'm still learning controls and shit I'm actually playing on the Call of Duty setup for Halo so the controls are similar to Call of Duty which I actually like I've been told it's really bad and not to do it by a couple people but you know I, I really don't give a shit just because it helps me play better at the game. I don't like the default controls for Halo. Uh, it's too much of a change from what I've normally used. <clears throat> so I just changed it over. Not a big deal if you ask me. And um, <clears throat> I think that's a lot easier for sure. You guys can see I get Tekken in a second time which makes me 14-2. I'm pretty sure that was my last death. But uh, anyways guys, this commentary is actually wrapping up. I think I'm just going to end my commentary here and you guys can just finish the rest of this gameplay so you don't have to hear me uh, jabber on about something I don't know much about. But uh, you know, just give me credit for my very first time ever playing Halo. Try not to be uh, you know, too harsh in the comments if I'm, you're like, oh you're a fucking noob man, you don't know what you're doing. Dude, trust me, I know I don't know what I'm doing. But I plan on learning and I plan on really giving this game a chance and you know, I always give it 110, that's for sure. But I um, hope you guys don't mind uh, something different besides Call of Duty because this is like a 100% Call of Duty based channel. Halo is a pretty fun game. If you guys haven't tried it yet, I'd recommend giving it a chance. I was really scared of buying it. I was like, I don't think it's going to be worth the money. But, you know, if you're in the same boat as I was, uh, give it a chance, guys. It's a fun game. And if you haven't got it yet, it's definitely worth a dollar. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, Black Ops in two motherfucking days. Peace out, guys.